Let's have a look at stage 15. And this stage could be where Tadej Pogacar maybe has won the whole Tour de France. His domination today was unbelievable. His team didn't have to do much work. He was heavily reliant on Jonas Finger and his team Visma Lisa Bikes doing the majority of that work. And they did exactly that today. I'm going to miss the start of the stage because it was an absolutely brutal start and there's way too much to go through. So I'm going to jump ahead right into the final climb. And at this point here, this is with 10.5 k's to go. Jorgensen has been doing all the work from the bottom until this point. And this point here is where Jonas Fingergo starts to launch his attack. On the left-hand side, you can see him going. And what's interesting for me is he accelerates to get rid of the likes of Remco, but knowing that he is not going to get rid of Tadej Pogacar with acceleration. If you look at Pogacar on here, he's in the saddle. Doesn't even have to get out of the saddle. Relatively easy. Still putting in a big effort, but easy. I think that Jonas did this after stage 11 when he won, beating Tadej Pogacar. He saw a weakness in him from that concept Consistency. If he's always pushing hard, always pushing Tade, I think Jonas believed today if he rides up to his limit and holds it there for as long as he can, Tade might crack. But that is not what happened today. It went completely the wrong way for him. The risk that Jonas ran today is by doing the effort that he did, if he got attacked by Tade Pogacar, it was almost game over. In an interview we heard after that Tade Pogacar was on the wheel of Jonas suffering almost right up to his limit with these micro accelerations that Jonas was doing. And at this point here is where Tade went on the attack. And that was it from then on in. It was pretty much game over for Jonas Vingo. He's been riding at his limit for about 15 minutes. And then Tade Pogacar coming over the top of him. Not only just looking at that, if you're Jonas Vingo going, I cannot respond to this. I'm at my limit already. He must have, the, like, the Morale must have been on the floor after that, knowing that you just have to hold on doing what you're doing, but losing time after each and every pedal stroke. When we get into the finish, it's just this, man. I mean, what can we say about him? He is an absolute beast. We criticise him for the way that he rides. We criticise him for maybe wasting energy, using energy in the wrong places. But in this year's Tour de France, he's done everything right so far. He's got that gap to over three minutes now in this year's Tour de France, and he's still got six stages to go. If you look at the speed here, 38 k's an hour, and on this climb today, he beat the previous record by four minutes. Yes, Jonas Fingo has a lot to do with that, but the time gap that Tade got today, up to 40 seconds towards the finish line. He is an absolute beast. He's up to 14, 13 stage wins now, or is it 14? Either one of the two. This man can win another three. He could be up to 17 stage wins in the Tour de France by the end of it. It's a remarkable human. It's a remarkable bike rider. And we have the pleasure of watching him. Yes, a lot of people might say it's boring to watch, but we really do have to appreciate what this man is doing within cycling because there's no one like him in this generation. And I believe there's not going to be anyone like him for a long, long time. He is incredible and I'm loving watching it.